Mount Olympus, Greek, Olympos Olympos, for modern Greek also transliterated Olympos, Olympos or Olibos is the highest mountain in Greece. It is located in the Olympus range on the border between Thessaly and Macedonia, between the regional units of Pieria and Larissa, about 80 kilometres southwest from Thessaloniki. Mount Olympus has 52 peaks, deep gorges, and exceptional biodiversity. The highest peak, Mytikas, 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 meaning nose. Rises to 2,918 meters (9,573 feet). It is one of the highest peaks in Europe in terms of topographic prominence. Olympus was notable in Greek mythology as the home of the Greek gods, on Mytikas Peak. Mount Olympus is also noted for its rich flora. It has been a national park, the first in Greece, since 1938. It is also a world biosphere reserve. Every year, thousands of people visit Olympus to admire its fauna and flora, tour its slopes, and reach its peaks. Organized mountain refuges and various mountaineering and climbing routes are available to visitors who want to explore it. The usual starting point for climbing Olympus is the town of Litokoro, on the eastern foothills of the mountain, 100 kilometers from Thessaloniki. Topic: <laughs> Geography. <laughs> The shape of Olympus was formed by rain and wind, which produced an isolated tower almost 3,000 meters (9,800 feet) above the sea, which is only 18 kilometers (11 miles) away at Litokoro. Olympus has many peaks and an almost circular shape. The mountain has a circumference of 150 kilometers (93 miles), an average diameter of 26 kilometers (16 miles), and 500 square kilometers (190 square miles) of area. To the northwest lies the Vlach village of Kakinoplu. The Makarima stream separates Olympus from the massif of Volgara. The villages Petra, Vranto and Dion lie to the northwest, while on the eastern side there is the town of Litokoro, where Enipes bisects the massif of Olympus. On its southeastern side, the Ziliana Gorge divides Mount Olympus from Cato Olympos Lower Olympus, while on its southwestern foothills, there are the villages Sycomenia and Caria. The Agia Triada Sparmau Monastery and the village Pythian lie to the west. Olympus dry foothills, known as the Xerocompi, are covered in chaparral and provides habitat for animals such as wild boar. Further east, the plain of Dion is fertile and watered by the streams which originate on Olympus. Geology <laughs> 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 Mount Olympus is formed of sedimentary rock laid down 200 million years ago in a shallow sea. Various geological events that followed caused the emergence of the whole region and the sea. Around 1 million years ago glaciers covered Olympus and created its plateaus and depressions. With the temperature rise that followed, the ice melted and the streams that were created swept away large quantities of crushed rock in the lowest places, forming the alluvial fans, that spread out all over the region from the foothills of the mountain to the sea. The Geological Museum of Mount Olympus, located in Leptokarya, provides detailed information about the geological structure of the mountain. Morphology <laughs> <laughs> The complicated geological past of the region is obvious from the morphology of Olympus and its national park. Features include deep gorges and dozens of smooth peaks, many of them in altitude of more than 2,000 meters (6,600 feet), including Agios Antonios (2,815 meters, 9,236 feet), Caligeros (2,700 meters, 8,900 feet), Tumpa (2,801 meters, 9,190 feet), and Prophetus Elias (2,803 meters, 9,196 feet). However, it is the central, almost vertical, rocky peaks, that impress the visitor. Over the town of Litokoro, on the horizon, the relief of the mountain displays an apparent V, between two peaks of almost equal height. The left limb is the peak named Mytikas or Pantheon 2,918 meters 9,573 feet. It is Greece's highest peak. Then, on the right is Stephani or Thronos Dios, throne of Zeus 2,902 meters 9,521 feet, which presents the most impressive and steep peak of Olympus, with its last sharply rising 200 meters presenting the greatest challenge for climbers. 
Further south, Scolio 40.0829 degrees north 22.3571 degrees east, 40.0829, 22.3571 second highest peak 2,912 meters 9,554 feet completes an arc of about 200 degrees, with its steep slopes forming on the west side, like a wall, an impressive precipitous amphitheatrical cavity, 700 meters 2,300 feet in depth and 1,000 meters 3, 300 feet in circumference, the Megala Kazania. On the east side of the high peaks the steep slopes form zone-like parallel folds, the zone area. Even narrower and steeper scorings, the Lukia, lead to the peak. Omicron and the north side, between Stefani and Prophetus Elias, extends the Muses Plateau, at 2,550 meters 8,370 feet, while further south, almost in the center of the massif, extends the alpine tundra region of Bara, at an altitude of 2,350 meters 7,710 feet. Olympus has numerous ravines and gullies. Most distinguishable of the ravines are those of Mavrologos Enipes 14 km and Mavratsis Sparmos 13 km near Bara and cut the massif in two oval portions. On the southern foothills the Great Gorge of Ziliana, 13 km long, consists of a natural limit that separates the mountain from Lower Olympus. There are also many precipices and a number of caves, even nowadays unexplored. The form and layout of the rocks favor the emergence of numerous springs, mainly lower than 2,000 meters, of small seasonal lakes and streams and of a small river, Enipes, with its springs in the site Priania and its estuary in the Aegean Sea. <laughs> Name and mythological associations The origin of the name Olympos Olympus is unknown and usually considered of pre-Greek origin. In Homeric Greek Odyssey 6 the variant Olympos Olympus occurs, conceived of as the seat of the gods and not identified with any specific peak. Homer Iliad 5.754, Odyssey 20.103 also appears to be using Olympos as a common noun, as a synonym of Oranos Oranos sky. Mount Olympus was historically also known as Mount Belus, after Iliad 1.591, where the seat of the gods is referred to as Bel Os Thespesio Sigma, heavenly threshold. In ancient Greek religion and mythology, Olympus was the name of the home of the twelve Olympian gods of the ancient Greek world. This was conceived of as a lofty mountaintop, and in all regions settled by Greek tribes, the highest local elevation tended to be so named. Among the numerous peaks called Olympus in antiquity are mountains in Mysia, Laconia, Lycia, Cyprus, Attica, Euboea, Ionia, and Lesbos, and others. Thessalian Olympus is the highest peak in any territory with Greek settlement and came to be seen as the Pan Hellenic. Representative of the mythological seat of the gods, by at least the 5th century BC, as Herodotus identifies Olympus as the peak in Thessaly. In Pieria, at Olympus's northern foot, the mythological tradition had placed the nine muses, patrons of the fine arts, daughters of Zeus and the titanide Nemozine. History In antiquity, the Olympus Massif forms the border between Thessaly and Macedon. The history of the surrounding area is consequently of interest in the context of the rise of Macedon, the Cremonidian War and the Macedonian Wars during the 4th to 2nd centuries BC. In the period of the Ottoman Empire the mountain was a hiding place and base of operations for clefts and armatoloi. In Olympus, the second armataliki was founded, led by Kara Makalis in 1489. The action of the clefts in Olympus led the Turks to visit their outrage on the clefts ally village of Milia in the late 17th century, which they destroyed. In that period Livadi in Olympus became the seat of the Armataliki of Olympus and western Macedonia, with their first renowned commander Panos Zidros. In the 18th century the Turks had to replace the Armataloi who very often joined the clefts with Muslim Albanian Armataloi who ravaged the countryside of Macedonia. However, Olympus Armatoloi, even after their capitulation to Ali Pasha, never ceased fighting on land and at sea. Among them who were active there and in nearby regions were Nikotseras, Georgiakis Olympios and the legendary family of Lazioi. 
In the early 20th century, even for some time after the liberation from the Ottoman Empire 1912, robbers were active in the region, the best known of them the notorious Giagulas, while during the German invasion in 1941 the Greek army fought significant battles along with units of New Zealanders and Australians. During the German occupation 1941 the mountain was one of the centers of the Greek resistance, while a little later the Greek Civil War 1946 started there, in Lidokoro. <laughs> Ancient and medieval sites The whole region of Piraeus Olympus was declared archaeological and historical site for the preservation of its monumental and historical character. 5 km away from the sea is Dion, sacred city of the ancient Macedons, dedicated to Zeus and the twelve Olympians. Its prosperity lasted from the 5th century BC to the 5th century AD. The excavations, continuing since 1928, have revealed numerous findings of the Macedonian, the Hellenistic and the Roman period. Currently there is a unique archaeological park of 200 hectares, with the ancient town and the sacred places of worship, outside its walls. Many statues and other invaluable items are kept in the nearby Dion's Archaeological Museum. Pimblia and Livithra, two other towns in Olympus region, are related to Orpheus and the Orphic mysteries. According to a tradition Orpheus, son of Apollo and Calliope, one of the muses, taught here the mystic ceremonies of worship of Dionysus also known as Bacchus. By the sea, in a strategic position, at Macedonia's gates is located Platamon Castle, built between 7th and 10th century AD in the ancient town of Heraclea. To the north the ancient Pydna is located. Here, in 168 BC, the decisive battle between the Macedonians and the Romans took place. Between Pydna and Mount Olympus are a fortified bishop's seat from the Byzantine period called Lulaudes and the Macedonian tombs of Caterini and Korinos. Christian monuments In the Olympus region, there are also several Christian monuments, among them the highest altitude chapel of Orthodox Christianity, dedicated to Prophet Elias, in Greek tradition associated with mountaintops, on the summit of the same name Prophets Elias Prophetus Elias, at 2,803 meters. It was built in the 16th century by Saint Dionysios of Olympus, who also founded the most significant monastery in the region. The old monastery of Dionysios altitude 820 meters lies in Enipis Gorge and is accessible by car from Litokoro. It was looted and burned by the Ottomans and in 1943 it was destroyed by the German invaders, who suspected it was a guerrilla den. Nowadays it has been partially restored and operates as a dependency of the new monastery of Dionysios, that is outside Litokoro. On Olympus' southern foot, in a dominant position 820 meters in Ziliana Gorge, there is the Canalon Monastery, 8 km away from Caria. It was founded in 1055 by the monks Demianas and Joachim and since 2001 it has been restored and operates as a convent. Further west, in the edge of Mavratsa stream, at 1,020 meters, there is the Agia Triada Sparmau Monastery, that flourished in the early 18th century, possessed great property and assisted to establish the famous Saritsani school. It was abandoned in 1932, but in 2000 it was completely renovated and reopened as a male monastery, affiliated to Elisona's diocese. Topic. Climbing expeditions. The third highest peak of Mount Olympus, called Agios Antonios, Agios Antonios, Saint Anthony, 40.0677 degrees north, 22.3511 degrees east, 2817 meters, is known to have been the site of a sanctuary of Zeus in antiquity, based on archaeological finds discovered in 1961. In the modern era, a series of explorers tried to study the mountain and to try to reach its summit. Examples include the French archaeologist Leon Husey 1855, the German explorer Heinrich Barth 1862, and the German engineer Edward Richter. Richter tried to reach the summit in 1911 but was abducted by clefts, who also killed the Ottoman gendarmes that accompanied him. It was just one year after the liberation of Greece from Ottoman rule, on 2 August 1913, that the summit of Olympus was finally reached. The Swiss Frederick Boissonnas and Daniel Boubovi, aided by a hunter of wild goats from Litokoro, Christos Kakalos, were the first to reach Greece's highest peak. 
Kakalos, who had much experience climbing Olympus, was the first of the three to climb Mytikas. Afterwards, until his death in 1976, he was the official guide on Olympus. In 1921, he and Marcel Kurz reached the second highest summit of Olympus, Stefani. Based on these explorations, Kurz in 1923 edited Le Mont Olympe, a book that includes the first detailed map of the summits. In 1928, the painter Vasilis Ithakizios climbed Olympus together with Kakalos, reaching a cave that he named Shelter of the Muses, and he spent many summers painting views of the mountain. Olympus was later photographed and mapped in detail by others, and a series of successful climbs and winter ascents of the steepest summits in difficult weather conditions took place. Climbing Mount Olympus is a non-technical hike, except for the final section from the Scala summit to the Mytikas Peak, which is a Yards Class III rock scramble. It is estimated that 10,000 people climb Mount Olympus each year, most of them reaching only the Scolio summit. Most climbs of Mount Olympus start from the town of Litacoro, which took the name City of Gods because of its location at the foot of the mountain. From there a road goes to Priania, where the hike begins at the bottom of the mountain. Topic. Climate Generally speaking Olympus climate can be described as one of Mediterranean type with continental influence. Its local variations is the result of the impact of the sea and the rugged relief of the region. In the lower locations and the, foothills, the climate is typically Mediterranean, i.e. hot and dry in the summer, while humid and cold in the winter. Higher it is more humid and severe, with more intense phenomena, in these locations it often snows all over the winter, while raining and snowing is not unusual, even in the summer. The temperature varies in the winter from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius and in the summer from 0 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius, while winds are an almost everyday occurrence. Generally the temperature falls 1 degree Celsius per 200 meters of altitude. As the altitude rises, the phenomena are more intense and the variations of temperature and humidity are often sudden. The coastal northeast slopes of Olympus receive more rain than the continental northwest, so, as a result, there is a clear difference in vegetation, being more abundant in the first of them. Hottest month is August, while coldest is February. The mountain's highest zone, over 2,000 meters, is snowcapped for about nine months September to May. In some places the winds gather snow, 8 to 10 meters thick anemosoria in Greek, while in some deep ravines the snow is maintained all over the year everlasting snow. For this Olympus Alpine region, recordings have been made in the 1960s in the highest altitude weather station in Greece, that was established on the summit of Agios Antonios 2815 meters, providing a number of interesting data for the mountain's climate. Tauhi average temperature is minus 5 degrees Celsius in winter and 10 degrees Celsius in summer. The average annual precipitation heights vary from 149 centimeters at Priania 1,100 meters to 170 centimeters at Agios Antonios, about half of them rainfall and hailstorms in summer and the rest snowfall in winter. The weather may change several times in the same day. In summer rainfalls are frequent, commonly as evening thunderstorms, many times accompanied by hail and strong winds. However water springs over 2,000 meters are scarce and visitors should ensure that they have always water and of course the necessary clothing for any weather conditions. <laughs> Flora The research of Olympus plants started in 1836, when the French botanist Acher Aloy studied them. According to this and later studies, the National Park of Olympus is considered one of the richest flora regions in Greece, with about 1,700 species and subspecies, that represent some 25% of Greek flora. Of them 187 are characterized as significant, 56 are Greek endemic and of them 23 are local endemic, i.e. they can be found only in Olympus, and 16 are rare in Greece or, and have there the limits of their spread within northern Greece. An important book about the plants and flowers, from the beach of the Aegean Sea up to the upper regions, of Mount Olympus was written in 1980 by the Swedish botanist Arne Strid. Most of those found in lower altitude are the common Mediterranean and Central European species. Jankaya heldriki, a plant relic of the Ice Age, is of particular interest for the botanists. 
Tao he intense diversity of the landscape, the varying orientation of the slopes and their position in relation to the sea affect locally Olympus climate and so a local microclimate prevails, combined with the geological background and the soil favor the growth of particular vegetation types and biotopes. Generally Olympus northeast side is densely forested, as it receives the most rainfall, while the southwest one has significantly sparser vegetation. Moreover, there is a clear sequence of the vegetation zones in accordance to altitude, in Olympus there is no such irregularity. It is due to the great microclimate variety, caused by the region's landscape. Flora zones In Olympus there are generally four sequent flora zones, but not clearly separated. Mediterranean vegetation zone In the altitude between 300 and 500 meters occurs the evergreen broadleaf trees zone Maquis. Along with oak, Quercus ilex and Greek strawberry tree there occur Kerms oak, strawberry tree, Filaria latifolia, bay laurel, cedar and others. Of the deciduous species most common are Flaxinus ulmus, Montpelier maple, Judas tree, Terebinth, Cotinus cogigria and others. Topic. Forest zone of beech, fir and mountain coniferous The evergreen broadleaf trees zone is gradually replaced by ecosystems of European black pine, that forms compact clusters, with no intermediate zone of deciduous oaks, although trees of these species occur sporadically within clusters of black pine. On the northern slopes of Shirolikos Valley, at altitude between 600 and 700 meters, there is a high forest of downy oak of about 120 hectares. Tauhi black pine dominates on the eastern and northern side of the mountain, between 500 and 1,700 meters. In this zone there is also hybrid fir in small groups and scrubs or small clumps, particularly in the lower region and in the sites Naomi west and Stalamatia and Polycastro east, where it is mixed with black pine and Bosnian pine. In this zone there is also beech. While in the neighboring mountains Pyrians and Asa it creates an extended vegetation zone, in Olympus it is restricted to small clusters, appearing as islets, mainly in more humid locations and the best soils. A particularly rich variety of trees and shrubs is found in Enipes Gorge. One can see their elm, cherry plum, European yew, hazel, holly, cornice moss, manna ash, maple and a considerable variety of herbaceous plants. Gorges and ravines are covered by oriental plains, willows, black alders and riverside greenery. Topic. Boreal coniferous zone Typical species of this zone is Bosnian pine. This rare kind of pine occurs sporadically higher than 1,000 meters and gradually replaces the black pine, while over 1,400 meters it creates an almost unmixed forest. Omicron veer 2,000 meters the forest becomes sparser, reaching to 2,750 meters, thus creating the highest forest limit, highest limit of forest growth in the Balkans, or even in Europe. Another feature of this zone is that over 2,500 meters the trees appear in a crawling form. The region, where Bosnian pine grows, is mostly dry and its slopes are rocky. There are no springs or water streams. The vegetation growing there is adapted to specific local conditions and represented by typical shrubs, graminaceous, chasmophytes etc., while the flora includes many endemic species of the Balkans. No forest high mountains zone Alpine tundra. Beyond Bosnian pines zone follows an extensive zone, without trees, with alpine meadows, consisted by a mosaic of grassland ecosystems, depending on the topography, the slope and the orientation of the ground. In general, this alpine flora with more than 150 plant species, contains snow accumulation meadows, grassy swamps, alpine scree and rock crevices. On the meadows, the rocks and the steep slopes live most of the endemic Olympus plants, among them some of the most beautiful wildflowers in Greece. Half of them are found only in the Balkans and 23 only in Olympus and nowhere else. Topic. Local endemic plants 
The list of 23 local endemic plants at Mount Olympus from the Olympus National Park Management Agency, Achillea ambrosiaca, Alyssum handeli, Asperula muscosa, Abrietta thessala, Campanula oretum, Carum adamuvici, Centauria incompleta, Centauria lidicoria, Centauria transiens, Cerastrium theophrasti, Coinsula nivalis, Erysimum olympicum, Festuca olympica, Genista saccalariatus, Genchia heldrici, Ligusticum olympicum, Melampyrus ciliatum, Ophrys helenae, Ophrys sphigodes subsp. Helenae, Poa Thessala, Potentilla deorum, Rinchau sinapis nivalis, Selene dionysi, Selene oligontha, Veronica thessalica, Viola stris notata, Viola pseudograca. Fauna <laughs> <laughs> Omicron limpus fauna, that has not been systematically studied so far, includes considerable variety and is marked by important, rare and endangered species. Large mammals, that lived formerly in the region, like deer, have disappeared. In ancient times there were lions Pausanias, while at least until the 16th century there were bears life of Saint Dionysios the later, there have been recorded 32 species of mammals, including wild goat R. Year I. Capra rupicapra balcanica, roe deer Caprilus caprilus, wild boar Sus scrofa, wildcat Felis sylvestris, beech marten Martes foina, red fox Volpes volpes, and red squirrel Shurus vulgaris. There have also been detected 108 species of birds like sparrowhawk, cenarius vulture, rock partridge, white stork, rock dove, European robin, lanner falcon, peregrine falcon, tree falcon, golden eagle, short-toed snake eagle, booted eagle and hoopoe. Many of them, particularly the birds of prey, are scarce. In addition there are the common reptiles of Greek fauna 22 species like snakes, turtles, lizards, etc. and some amphibians 8 species in streams and seasonal ponds, as well as a great variety of insects, particularly butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> National Park Greece's highest mountain, dwelling of the twelve gods of antiquity, has been the first region in the country to be applied specific protective rules, by its declaration as a national park in 1938. The aim of this declaration was the preservation in perpetuity of the natural environment of the region, i.e. of wild flora, fauna and natural landscape, as well as its cultural and other values. In addition the declaration has aimed promoting scientific research along with environmental education for the public and tourist development in the region. Specific laws prohibit all forms of exploitation on the eastern side of the mountain in an area of about 4,000 hectares, that is the core of the park. A wider region, around this core, has been designated, peripheral zone of the national park so that its managing and exploitation to be done so as not to adversely affect the core's protection. At present, the park has been expanded to 24,000 hectares. Administratively it belongs to Piraeus and Larissa's prefectures and specifically to the municipalities Diu Olimpo and Caterinis and Tau Empan and Elisonas Larissa. Its lowest altitude is 600 meters and its peak, Mitakas, at 2,918 meters. In 1981 UNESCO proclaimed Olympus, Biosphere Reserve. European Union has listed Olympus in the significant for birdlife regions of European Union. It is also registered in the list of Natura 2000 European Network as a special protection area and a site of community interest. In June 2016 the Olympus National Park Information Centre, located at Litacoro, opened its gates. It informs their visitors about geology, archaeological sites, mythology, monasteries, plants, animals and other subjects affecting Mount Olympus. Hikers will find help from professional rangers. A guide provides tours for groups in the mountain area. Topic: <inaudible> Olympus National Parks regulations. The park is protected by specific legislation. Under the special regulation, entrance to the park is allowed only by the existing roads and traffic is allowed from sunrise to sunset only on formed paths. The visitor should also know that the following activities are not allowed Entrance to children under 14 years unescorted Parking in places other than the specific parking lots Felling, humus transportation, rooting and collecting shrubs, plants and seeds Hunting any animal by any means throughout the year 
collection and destruction of nests, eggs or chicks and general disturbance and destruction of fauna species. Damage to geological formations. Free movement of any animals accompanying visitors. Access Olympus Massif is found about in the middle of continental Greece and is easy to approach from the national railway network on the Athens-Thessaloniki line and the secondary roads that connect towns and villages around the mountain, with the principal base for excursions being the town of Litakoro, where there are many hotels and taverns. In addition, on Piria's coastal zone there are many camp sites and lodgings. The nearest international airport is that of Thessaloniki, and railway stations are those of Litakoro, Katerini and Leptikarya. There is frequent service by KTEL buses and a taxi stand is in Litakoro's central square. Map for an overview, more detailed map of the Olympos region. Topic refuges Spilios Agapitos, the first refuge of the region, is at the site Beta Alconi or Exostis at 2,100 meters 6, feet altitude. It is in the center of Mavrologos and belongs to Greek Federation of Mountaineering Club EOOS, Vrysopoulos. The second refuge, is westerly behind Mavratsis Gorge at the site Vrysopoulos 1,800 meters and is accessible also by car from Sparmos. It has been managed by the Kappa, Epsilon, Omicron, Alpha, Chi Army skiers since 1961. It provides 30 beds, a kitchen, water, electricity, central heating and a fireplace. It is open all year round, but to overnight a military license is required. Christos Kakalos is at the southwest edge of Muses Plateau 2648 meters. It belongs to Greek Federation of Mountaineering and Climbing Epsilon, Omicron, Omicron, Alpha that operates it from May to October and provides 18 beds, electricity, blankets, a kitchen and tank water. It is managed by one of the best experienced Greek climbers, the geologist Mihalis Stylas. Stavros Dimitrios Bountilas is on the eastern side of Olympus, 9.5 km on asphalt road away from Litakoro, at 930 m 3, altitude, in the Dionysios Monastery Forest. It belongs to the Greek Mountaineering Club of Thessaloniki, operates all year round, mainly as refreshment room and restaurant and can host 30 persons. It is managed by the Dozino family. Geozos Apostolitis is on Muses Plateau 2760 meters and belongs to the Club of Greek Mountaineers of Thessaloniki. It can accommodate 80 persons, it provides electricity, water, a fireplace and an equipped kitchen and it is open from June to October. It is managed by Dimitris Zorbas. Petrostruga is on the second, more common, path to Olympus D10, the same path to reach to Muses Plateau. Tau his refuge is at 1,900 meters 6, feet altitude, surrounded by perennial Bosnian pines. It can accommodate 60 persons, it provides an equipped kitchen, electricity, water and a fireplace and it is open all year round. It is managed by the Hellenic Rescue Team. It provides organized medical equipment and one of the three emergency heliports in Olympus the others at Skorta and Spilios Agapitos and emergency wireless inside and out of the refuge. Topic emergency refuges Agios Antonios Emergency Refuge on the summit Agios Antonios 2817 meters is equipped with emergency items by the Hellenic rescue team. In the refuge there is wireless for communication in case of emergency. Kaliva Tou Christaki Emergency Refuge is in Megali Gorna 2430 meters along the path E4, Kokinopilos, Scala. The refuge does not provide emergency items there are only beds and is only for protection from bad weather. Kakalos Emergency Refuge at the Oropedio Tun Musin belongs to the Greek Mountaineering and Climbing Federation and is located at the eastern margin of the Plateau of Muses at an elevation of 2,650 meters 8,690 feet. It was named after Christos Kakalos the Olympus hunter and guide who together with the Swiss climbers Fred Boissonnas and Daniel Boubovi made the first recorded ascent to Olympus' highest peak Mytikas on 2 August 1913. It has a capacity of 25 people and offers lodging, food and toilets. It is open from mid-May to end of October and from December to mid-April. The official list of the refuges at Mount Olympus is maintained by the Olympus National Park Management Agency. Topic online library Since 2010 exists the Olympus Alpine Bibliotheca. It houses a collection of books and texts around the subject Mount Olympus. 
Currently over 300 titles are listed, many of them available for free download. Coin Mount Olympus and the national park around it were selected as the main motif for the Greek National Park Olympus commemorative coin, minted in 2005. On the reverse, the War of the Titans on Mount Olympus is portrayed along with flowering branches on the lower part of the coin. Above the scene is written, in Greek, National Park Olympus. See also Greece portal Asteroid 22754 Olympus Greek mythology List of mountains in Greece Twelve Olympians Topic. References Topic. External links Olympus. Encyclopædia Britannica. 20 11th ed. 1911. Mount Olympus website Greek mountain flora Management Agency of Olympus National Park Laboratory of Geodesy, University of Thessaloniki, GPS measurement of the height of the peaks of Mountain Olympus.